good 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 morning everyone how are you doing hope you're doing okay out there what a lovely gorgeous morning it is isn't it uh good british weather up to 21 degrees this afternoon which is good um today guys we've got the armor gordon on the bench today um we're just going through a few upgrades um because a lot of people have been talking about it on youtube but they upgraded theirs to brushless so i've done the same um first start off with i am throwing in a 120 amp I'm going to the 120 amp guys because I was running a um, just a normal 45 amp and 3s so this is a bit more a bit more power to it 120 amp take out the 4s so it'd be quite quick or very quick actually um, another thing is I've took out the stock um, spur and put a metal one in if you guys um, want the uh, number for the spur I actually got it here guys um, Two got there somewhere, guys. It is uh, b -b 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 right. This is a number if you're interested in one. Um, it's a 61 spur there, 61, and it's a 0 0.8. I think that's what it says it on there. Yeah, MO18, MO18. But this is the number part number, guys. If you're interested in it, you can see that there. Focus that in properly. Might be able to see that. If you guys want, want, want one, just uh, take the number down now. Um, the number part number is um, MG0061TS. So, yeah, if you go ahead and order one, I do recommend upgrading to metal because all this metal lasts, they say, then the plastic strips out. Um, yes, it was quite easy taking this apart actually. Just I'll do the spring on the end anti clockwise and pop it on, screw it back together. Bob's your uncle is all sorted. And we've got here, and this is the body show. I'm going to probably get another body show later on. Um, kit is one for bashing around, you know. It's a split in place, isn't it? And it's by one sort of good one. But yeah, I'm definitely going to get another one. Um, this is it, really, guys. There's nothing to it, basically. It's just a plastic shell. Um, yes, I've got a new motor I put in. It's the Brushless Motor, guys. It's a Rocket RC. It's, it's going to be a um, 3650, and that is a 26 kV motor, a 26 kV motor, so it's dedicated with 4S, probably 5S pushing it. The old 5S name again, you can run on it, but yeah, loads of power, guys. And then I was a big fan to keep it cool, as you guys know about that. Um, also, what I've done is I've got the stock ones out, these here. That one there is the, the, uh, the diffs inside. I took it out <coughs> and bought the new one. So, if you guys want the number of that one, this, uh, this is of a stock plastic one. Um, you know, so I got the metal one inside. So, the metal diff case, all the new diffs in there. I stripped it all out. See that one there, guys? This is up for sale now on my uh, eBay channel. Um, stock Gordon parts. You know, if anyone's interested, just look on my eBay. Under the um, email, I could put on the bottom for you guys. So if you want this, you could have it. Um, obviously, be a price, you know what I mean. But yeah, uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It's obviously only ran it once or twice on it, so it's pretty like new, really. But I haven't. I haven't got the stock in there. I've got the upgrade one, the metal one. So metal is more better in it. So just to tell you about that. Um, I will show you the. Uh, where is it to? Uh, da, 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 da. One of these here, I think. Yeah, so it is. <coughs> this is the one here, guys. If you're interested in upgrading your um, diffs inside of that, in the case, that's the number there, guys. You can see it there. It might be the same. No, it's different, actually, guys. Just checking. Yeah, it's MG01200. S dash B at K. Okay, guys. So yeah, if you want to go in and you know get one, be my guest. That is uh, GPM Racing. That's what I got it from. Which they're a good company, guys. So yeah, but, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and store store it. I have. I am waiting for a pinion. I haven't got a right pinion. Obviously, it's it's the um, five millimeter shaft. I've only got basically. Um, 
smaller shaft, <coughs> three point or three point one seven millimeter one. So I haven't got that. So I've got some on order. They're coming tomorrow. Um, but yeah, once I've got it installed, guys, that just goes in there, and then uh, Bob's your uncle, guys. Sweet as that. Sits in there, guys. See. There we go. Look, no trouble at all. Um, but it will give more tolerance, more power, as they say, because um, I'm on a 4S, I'm on a 61 spur, probably uh, 8, 19, something like 20 pinion gear on it, so 1920 tooth pinion, 61 spur, which, yeah, that's what I'm hoping to do, <laughs> you know, guys. So, yeah, there we go. So, yeah, it's good as go, that is, guys. Fits near the, the tree. But yeah, that's what I've done so far, guys. It's upgraded that way because, um, you know, and we've also you've seen on my last video of these guys here the old uh, Terminator. It's got the iron on the bench, guys. Here, let me see my last video. I've just done a little speed run, I've got uh, 57. 57 just outside outside my uh, my road here just a minute ago and then um, that was running it on um, a 4S a 4S battery a 23 kV motor and a 120 amp ESC for now um, that is what's pinion gear I can't remember now I think it's the stock pinion the biggest one 27 and about that 20 27 but I am going to take them out soon and um, Go much bigger, um, probably put a 33 in or something, and then you know, get some good speed runs out of the guys. So, yeah, um, it's all looking good so far, um, it's all coming together, like they say. <coughs> so, that one's got to be done, and then I've just got to finish one up here. Like that. There we go, all good and proper. But I do like the colour. What do you think about the colour, guys? I quite like the blue, especially the red. It's uh Brings it a bit, the red and the blue, doesn't it? Still having it all sort of um, one boring blue colour, you know what I mean? Right, I'll put that one on there. Do you ever get trouble, guys, with these um, body clips? As I tend to do, they tend to take a while to pop in, don't they? But yeah, it's all looking good, it's all together. I just took that for a quick run and ran the garden, it's kept together. I had a few jumps out of it, pretty good. Guys. that's about it guys um yeah well at the end of the day guys keep commenting below and like and subscribe to the channel uh it'd be most appreciated and see you all very soon have a cracking day guys